right. Hey, we have a uh, Windy City Live first timer joining us for host chat today from US 99. Please welcome Scotty K. Hey. Yep. I didn't, and bring, I didn't bring any voodoo medicines <laughs> with me, though. Yes, we need to, like, burn some incense in here. <laughs> I know, right? Some sage. And, you know, I, I've been doing the flu shot the last few years, and I swear that helps, too. Some people don't believe in it. I totally believe in the flu yeah. shot. You, you don't believe in it? Or I've you never had done one. It? I've never had a flu shot. I've and never. And you're actually hardly ever sick. Right, I'm hardly ever sick. So, yeah, yeah you and I were out at a shoot the other day, and I kept saying, Ryan, my throat is scratchy, my throat is scratchy. Yeah. And you were like, oh, oh, oh. Uh oh. Has anybody ever uh, not had a flu shot in here besides me? Never. Oh, see, I'm not in the minority. Oh, there's a lot of people that don't. Yeah. Have. There's a lot of misconceptions, too. The flu shot doesn't just stop you from getting the flu. What it does is stop you from dying from the flu. Yeah, that, that's that's a plus. Yeah. That's yeah, you don't want to do bonus. that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, let's jump into some topics here. Actually, you know what? Before we do that, uh, somebody told me, and I didn't see this, but somebody told me you were on the very first season of So You Think You Can Dance. Yeah, I was. I was it was, feels like a lifetime ago, but yeah, it was almost 15 years ago, the first 15 season. 15 years yeah. ago? Well, you know, we got to ask you to dance now. <laughs> right. <laughs> Will you dance for us? We need some of those moves. <laughs> yeah, sure. On the, okay. we, on the uh, table, do we have, do we have any music? The, do we oh, have some music? He said on the table. No, oh, not on the table. Not on the table. <laughs> Dancer, clearly, you're you're a radio guy, and um, and you were on American Ninja Warrior. I did. I do the, this season of American Ninja Warrior. Yeah, I, I drive my fiance crazy because I just do stuff, and she's like, okay, go yeah. ahead and throw. Yep. This is a difficult thing to do, oh. especially this wall yeah. thing. So this is yeah. the first time I ever attempted the wall, and trying to get up that thing wow. is the scariest thing in the world. The first couple times you do it, and then once you get up there. You, uh, you lose all the fear and you just go for it. So do you just watch every reality show and you're like, I'm yeah. going to audition for that? Yeah. <laughs> you know, I was watch I actually watching American Ninja Warrior with that. my son. And he goes, he goes, uh, I love the show. I go, oh, I'd love to do that. And he looked at me and goes, you couldn't do that. So it was like, it was on from then, right? right. You know what? I want you to do Wipeout. <laughs> Um, That's kind of what I get on American Ninja Warrior, I'm not going to lie. Wipeout's the funniest because, they get, you know, it's like yeah. you have no chance to get through that thing yeah. without getting knocked yeah, down. Yeah, but this is pretty impressive. I, yeah. The kids and I watch this, too, and we're always like, wow. Very, very yeah, good. That was nice the first show. time I ever Ooh. tried that stuff. Very good. All right, let's dive into some topics. Okay, yeah. let's do it. Uh, Uber <clears throat> wants to start listening to your conversations. What do you think about that? Uh, this actually is being called a safety measure by Uber after several drivers have been accused of sexual harassment and even rape. Uh, now does that change your mind? Yeah. Yeah. Here's the thing is, the how, driver and the how passenger... How is this going to happen? Well, they're going to test this in Latin America actually next month first. Okay. Then they're going to try to bring it to the United States. It's going to be tricky, though, because a lot of states, including ours, 11 states, are two-party consent. You have to know you're being recorded. Yeah. They're saying that they're going to tell every passenger that they're being recorded, but I don't know if that means the driver's going to have to say it every time you get in. Or will they just be signed? Or if the sign will be enough. We actually asked our attorneys about that, and mm. it's still unclear. On, I believe on you've accepted on. On the app and the safety. I think that was one of the things you have to go mm. in and click on the app and do it. Um, I'm all about everything that is for safety, anything that makes people safer and more comfortable in this. Mm -hmm. But I also think this is going to be a podcast. If you're giving them the rights to record everything in an Uber, Uber's going to throw this up. It's going to be like the hottest new podcast that comes out. That's and a you, very who good knows point. what you're going to catch. Oh my goodness. Can you imagine maker. the conversations that are going to be recorded? It's going to be all these Uber uh, reality <laughs> stars now. Right? They're going to give Uber X a real name. <laughs> I mean, a real meaning. It's gonna be isn't Uber that a thing? Like, you yeah. Can, oh, yeah. 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 It could be or X rated. Or yeah. X rated. <laughs> <laughs> Uber after dark. You know, I know a lot of Uber drivers, they don't they don't want to work nights because they're like, it's just too crazy. Like, yeah. you pick people up yeah. after midnight, and it's just a zoo. So, I don't know, maybe this is going to help behavior on both sides. I mean, when you get in a cab, they have cameras. You see the camera when you get in a cab. Oh, I've never paid attention to that. Yeah, oh, yeah. Security for the driver. The dash cam. So, yeah. yeah, I don't know. I think if it's done right and it's done well. Right. It's worth it. I mean, for safety alone, it should be worth anything yeah. that helps with that. Yeah, yeah. for sure. All right, uh, moving on. Let's talk about sex. Uh, have, you, right. have you ever lied? Have you, be honest audience, by, by I wanna see arms. Have you ever lied uh, to avoid having sex with your partner? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 Everybody Only has. the women's hands are up. Right, okay. right, there's no men. I, I, no. I'm, my I'm, man, come oh, on, okay. go back. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, 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 he's like, my man, my man. Hey, I some, can see sometimes you. we're just tired, too. And we get headaches, too. <coughs> Wait a minute. Hey, 71% of people say they have lied. What? When does a man ever get too tired for that? Listen. Listen. Get him I, a mic. Get him a listen, mic. I, I yes, hear enough from yes. you all the time. I want to hear from uh, right, get him a mic. You brother call. man at the top <laughs> that here. That He's willing to talk. Let him talk, then. All right. What was the question again? <laughs> No, actually, actually, we do get tired. I mean, sometimes it's just be it's overwhelming, you know. So yeah. you get too Hold on, tired. I want you to put your hat on for me, real quick. Put your hat on, because this outfit alone looks like you would never turn down sex. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, now grab the mic. Friend. Oh. This is my best male friend. So, so. so okay, since so, so you guys are best friends, but he's he's, is he's he telling the truth. That's a lie. I told oh. him. <laughs> Boy, Baker. Okay. He, he just wanted to be on TV. I know all his secrets. He's lying. I was gonna I say, if you're his best friend, are you in the room? Because <laughs> <laughs> he tells her. Sometimes everything. I wish I could be. <laughs> uh, I lead a boring sex life. <laughs> Well, I mean, well, <laughs> we, it, whatever floats your boat. Nobody calls you out faster than your best friend. Yeah. Yeah. Seventy-one uh, percent of people say they have lied to get out of it. Uh, where, are you really ever just that tired? Seriously, come on. Yeah. Now that I'm over forty. Do you use the excuse uh, I'm tired? I, I, and listen. You just insulted yeah. the whole. I know. <laughs> Scotty, have you? Have you? Yeah. I don't know if I've lied. I fake sleep. He fakes. Okay. Yeah, oh. Yeah. yeah. What about you, Scotty? If I'm gonna if I'm gonna lie, it's gonna be the. F I think the I eat too much food mm. lie. Because nobody wants to know what happens at, next if that's the truth. You know. Well, and it does it does put you out of the mood when yeah. you eat too big of a meal. They always say when you're like on a date, yeah. and if the if the woman is not eating a lot, she's like thinking about what's her next. That's why meal. on the Bachelor they never eat the meals. Wow. Right. Just in case. <laughs> I have never thought about all of this. Well, you love food a lot, exactly. so I think you would, you're in for both. <laughs> exactly. You're in and, for both. And I feel like there's ways to work around whether you got a full tummy or not. Mm, like, so a lot. tummy has nothing to do with it. Like, there's more than one way to skin a cat. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Have you ever so, eaten a whole burrito bowl at Chipotle and then tried to, to run a, uh, on the treadmill? Well, yeah. Food has something to do with that. it. Well, I'm not running in the treadmill after dark. Mm. Oh, that's fair. I'm not giving the same level of exertion. I don't know your life, I guess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so you think that only women lie. Do you Have you lied? To yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, 32% of people here say that they can get going any time of day, no matter what. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised think, that number is only 32. I really? Like, mm -hmm. That's the people that aren't. I feel like the, during the day, the people that aren't are going, yeah, I can do it anytime during the day. Oh, the they're people just the big talkers? Yes, yeah, yeah. Because um, if, you, if you are doing I mean, you, you and you got a busy day, you're not going to jump right in and go, yeah, I'm just going to take time out of my day. I've, I don't think it switches like I've that. I've never had a situation where uh, the time of day has been a deterrent. Yeah. Have you, have you ever been... Hold on. <laughs> never. Have, have you ever been turned down ever by a spouse? No. Nah. <laughs> You're serious. This never happened. I don't think. Never. So. No one. He's never been tired. Because whatever he's taking, I need a little bit. <laughs> I mean, there are things for that. <laughs> I know. Oh, I know. I know. Maybe, but mm, not enough I'm to talking, remember. Not clearly, enough to yeah. remember. Yeah, okay. Well, uh, mm. Gwyneth Paltrow is actually trying to help people's sex life. She has a new uh, holiday sex gift kit. Okay, this is the Restraining Arts Kit. Spices up things in your bedroom. It includes... Restraining Arts? <laughs> yes. It includes wrist and ankle cuffs and a leather-bound paddle. The kit is listed... Wait, hold on. Yeah, calm down. The kit is listed on the site for 1350 bucks. She's crazy. She's crazy. I mean, I'll buy a That's when you paddle. use the excuses that you came up with earlier. <laughs> well, then you can't use an excuse if she bought that. It's That's like, true. You know what I invested in this night? And it's on her Christmas list? <laughs> Who's this list going to? Is it a secret Santa at work? <laughs> Definitely not. That's not a good Think place. about the things that she's named off here, mm -hmm. right? We just recently on the show, you told us we can order the fuzzy handcuffs from Amazon. Yes, that's a fact. How much were they? 
Mm, I think like 20 bucks. Okay, so you could put this whole box together for under $40. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So you say you just want to DIY this. Yeah. <laughs> you're, 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 you're not worried yeah. about what it actually is. Just like, I could do it for cheaper. Yeah. Yeah. That's the moral of the yeah. story to me. I like the yeah. idea, yeah. but I'm just going to, you know, that's a great gift for my co I mean, yeah. not my coworkers, my girlfriends. <laughs> I miss my girlfriend. Frankly, Hank wants two orders, by the way. <laughs> um, she's going to DIY it. She'll be like stealing ping pong paddles from down over oh at my dear. Spin over here. Listen, okay. you really don't even need a paddle. What's your Pinterest look like? I'm super mm. interested in that. Wait, I'm share it with okay. you. Okay. You don't, you don't need a paddle? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what God gave you these for. Hey. Want to see? Multiple. No. <laughs> Multiple use. I'm really glad you guys cool. invited me on this yeah. on this show because I'm learning a lot. <laughs> it's Friday, and listen, yeah. I'm not even at 100. percent I'm gonna have to come back on another yes. Friday for, for what I will learn. <laughs> now, okay, so now, but what if what if you want to like spice things up? Uh, and so you just surprise your partner with a gift like this, but you don't know if they're into that kind of well, thing. Well, you probably should know. Yeah. yeah. You probably should know if your partner likes that kind of thing or not. That's a. Con I think that's a whole. That's another deeper conversation because you're talking about people's insecurities, vulnerabilities. You're you're getting into a place you got to have those. What if you just fake the gift? You're like, oh, I don't know what this just showed up at the house today. <laughs> what is this? Honey? I bought this off Whoa. Val's Pinterest. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Hey, <laughs> look, you want to try it? <laughs> yeah. You just got to know your partner. Hopefully they are adventurous. That's it. Well, and if your partner's buying that or putting that on their Christmas list, you probably missed like five or six hundred other hints that they were going to want to do this at some point too down the road. Right. So mm -hmm. if it's on their Christmas list, that's not the first time you're here. All right. Is this on your Christmas list? Uh, men using lasers now for manscaping. No. Wow. Ladies, do you like a man to manscape? No. no. None? Nothing? No. Okay. Why don't you go on? Trim up? Okay. Okay. Where, so we know what manscaping we? is, right? It's just trimming up the body hair and all that stuff. It's the chest? Yeah, it's more <clears throat> than the chest. Let's say okay. more than the chest. Okay, so oh. men are using lasers, though, to get the brozillion. <laughs> so the brozillion. <laughs> and, or the mankini. Or the... The Brazilian. Well, you know, I did look into what a Brazilian. I never heard of a Brazilian before this story. But you heard of a Brazilian? Yes, but What's I didn't. I did not even realize that that was. Well, they're making yeah. it up. It's pun now. Oh, so men don't do that? Well, they they're do. saying, according to this story, this no, is becoming I, yeah. a trend. I think men do do that, and and after reading why they would, I get it. What? Why would they? Well. Be I know, I'm being careful. I'm yeah. getting cues in my ear. Um, so it helps keep everything, it, the areas very clean. Right. That's so true. there's no chance for... <laughs> I, what? Okay. No, no, I don't think you can say that on TV. What, what did you say? <laughs> I, I don't, I'm not sure what uh, you yeah, said, no. but better, it sounds funny. We, we, we better not. We I better wish not. you could whisper it in my ear right now. In the commercial. Mouth it again. In the commercial. <laughs> we don't want to get canceled. Um, listen, no, I'm all, I'm all for manscaping, and that's not just the you chest. You know that hurts. But, but they say, I've never had either. No, 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 I'm for manscaping, but there's other ways to manscape. I'm not going and getting lasers. Oh, well, well there's nothing wrong with lasers. Yeah. I get my uh, beard and my mustache laser. Chin is different than... For um, one... <laughs> The, the technician thing would be weird for me, like the technician Why? in the room. Well, don't you want a woman to do it? <laughs> no. No. Well, we have more of a sensitive... I don't touch. want anyone to do it, for one, but... Well, no. Here, I'll, I'll put it this way. And I think there's a lot of discrepancy between, because some of the ladies are like, yes, do it, it's laser hair removal, mm -hmm. manscaping. Never ask somebody to do something you're not willing to do yourself. I live by that. Right. And there's... A, right? So, mm -hmm. if that's something you like on somebody else... Now, do you have to use lasers is the question. It's a little more permanent yeah. and less dangerous, I, I think. Less maintenance. Right. I All think. right, quickly, so do you, yeah. you trim up your chest? Uh, I do, I do. I'm not very, a very hairy guy. Yeah, I'm not so, either. Yeah, so I trim but it up You can't get to all those areas. You need an outsider to help you. <laughs> Her new profession. I'm doing the whole no yeah. shave November thing, but yeah, yeah, but this is about as good as it's gonna get. Yeah, I don't want to picture anybody doing weird yoga poses in the in the shower trying to figure it all out. Yeah. So let's go laser. <laughs> yeah. All right. Big thanks, Scotty K. Catch you weekday mornings on US 99.